Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this video, we will be importing or inserting Google Earth images into AutoCAD. For this approach, I'll be using AutoCAD 2017 and Google Earth Pro version. Alright, now in order to import those images, the first thing I need to do unit setup. For that, I'm going to click Tools and then Options. As you can see in the same dialog box, I'm going to just check meters and kilometers and then universal transfers mercator okay because these gonna give me the coordinates are easting nothing in form of you can say in decimal form okay in, in metric system okay i don't want those in the degrees minutes seconds okay i'm happy with this unit setup so i'm going to click apply and then okay now the next thing i want to navigate to the place from where the the photos or the pictures can be imported into AutoCAD. Okay, so I'm going to search for that place. Let's say uh, Islamabad uh, Metro Station Photo Har. Let's say I'm happy with that place. I'm going to click search and the Google Earth will navigate to that place. That's good. All right. I'm going to just do little zooming so that's good okay I'm happy that's the metro station and the zooming to this extent is okay all right now in order to import Google Earth images and then align them or scale them in AutoCAD we need at least two reference points okay that's why I'm going to add this place mark all right but before adding that I'm going to click view and then reset and tilt and compass so as you can see it is leveled now now i'm going to click on this place mark and i'm going to just uh, specify the same location from which the coordinates can be taken okay i'm going to name this place is uh, you can say mark one now what i need is these coordinates okay the easting and northing i'm going to copy them and let me just uh, create a new text document and let's say location just like that okay you can name it anything i'm going to open it and let's say mark one okay and this is the easting of mark one and another that's the north update mark okay so i'm going to paste the north as well now for mark two i'm going to take the coordinates from google earth all right so i'm going to click OK and that mark is just placed over there all right now another point let me just uh, take this metro station which is I think I8 this is just near to the normal university maybe I'm going to zoom that and again view reset tilt and compass so it's now leveled and adding another mark and let's just adjust that and name it is mark 2 okay i'm going to copy the coordinates control c and then paste it over here control v and again the northing control c and paste it over here is all right that's good i'm happy with that so i'm going to click ok now as you can see these two marks are been placed okay mark 2 and mark 1 all right as you can see this one okay now what i'm gonna do is to just uh, uh, i mean hide this toolbar okay so i'm going to click on that and as you can see it is now a, a full screen image and just doing little adjustment like that okay i'm happy with that now as you can see again i'm going to view it reset and okay that's great and also you can click this now to adjust the direction now the next thing i'm going to click file and save and save this image all right as you can see here are different options okay i'm going to uncheck these things i don't want these scales compass okay these things i don't want because i want only the map all right and in the resolution i'm going to click the maximum resolution like this one okay if you want the resolution uh, 720 hd 1080 etc you can do that as well i want the maximum one and that's okay i'm going to click save 
and I'm going to specify the location which is the desktop and let's say image for AutoCAD okay I'm happy with that I'm going to click save and that's gonna take few seconds and that's been saved all right so the image has been saved on the desktop as you can see this is the image now we are ready to import this image into AutoCAD okay but before doing that let's just do some unit setup in the AutoCAD by typing units in the command box and then press enter and the insertion scales I want this to be meters because if you remember from the Google Earth unit setup that was meters and kilometers and the length type is going to be decimal I'm okay with that all right click OK now I'm going to create two points because in the Google Earth image we have two reference points okay one mark one and mark two so the same thing can be done in the AutoCAD I'm going to create two points you can say let's just create circles okay so C space and I'm going to just draw a circle with any radius now just click the circle and control one to just uh, navigate to its properties I'm going to copy and paste those mass coordinates okay we are here I'm going to copy the easting of mark one and just paste it over here in the center X or you can say the easting okay paste it over here and now I'm going to copy the north of mark one and paste it over here in its Y and press enter just click this cross as you can see the the circle just disappeared because those coordinates were placed right so I'm going to do zoom extend just by pressing Z space and E space as you can see this is the circle okay next I'm going to take its copy okay copy from the circle and I'm going to click it and again control one to view its properties and now let's just copy the north okay and paste it over here in the Y and in the X coordinate I'm going to copy the east and paste it over there now press enter and that's been applied to the circle and just cross it okay now as you can see um, we have mark 1 over here and mark 2 over there now we can import that Google Earth image just by going to the insert tab and then click attach just go to the desktop and over here we have image for AutoCAD and open it all right do nothing with these dialog box you can just click OK and just click in the you can say specify any insertion point and scale it as much as you want okay just click it over here as you can see that image has been imported all right next what I'm gonna do is to align and scale this image to these two reference points okay for that I'm going to type AL in the command box and then press enter now just select this image and press enter again now if you don't know what to do just look at the command bar it's asking to specify the first source point I'm going to zoom it as much as I can do and I'm going to click this point because this is the mark one and I'm going to specify the first destination point is this circle now it's asking to specify the second source point and I'm going to click this mark okay and just the destination point is this circle okay now it is asking to specify the third source point we don't have the third point so I'm going to click enter you can just click no or yes I want to scale this image to these reference points so I'm going to click yes okay that's been done very amazing okay very nicely I don't need those uh, circles you can say so I'm going to cross select it and delete it or erase it now what's its practical implementation how we can use it just let's just check the align functionality and let me just click the mark two over here and then mark one so we can check the distance between these two marks or points or you can say the metro stations and of course that is 1086 meters which is just little more than a kilometer and just believe me the distance between these two stations is almost one kilometer okay and that's pretty amazing you can just check it okay and let's let's just uh, have another uh, use of it let's say this is my property and I want its area okay for which I'm going to create a polyline uh, also you can just do it by clicking okay 
you can just say area you can just type area in the command box and press enter now if you don't know what to do just specify your boundary i'm going to say this is the boundary and another corner and this is the another corner another one and here is just little bit you can say curvature and when i'm done i'm going to click enter as you can see you can just drag this command bar up and as you can see its area is 23,121 okay units or you can say uh, square units that's pretty amazing you can use it okay as well so this is how we can import or insert images from google earth into AutoCAD. hey if you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon so you never miss an update from an engineer boy